Okay, so a new film from Signature, The Harbinger. Harbinger? Harbinger? No, there's not two R's. Harbinger. Harbinger. Hmm, yes. It is the new film from Andy Mitten. He wrote and directed it. He also produces, along with Richard W. King and Jay Dunn. It's executive produced by Clark Freeman. Um, Milton or Mitten, even, also handles the music. Cinematography is from Ludovica Isidora. Um, Mitten edits the film. He's wearing a lot of hats. Right, production design is from Jiu Lin. Uh, Sonia Foltazar is art direction. Costume design was from Candy Spielen. Um, makeup is Mung Hui Park and Ikiro uh, Sabawada. Uh, and our cast, hmm, I don't think we, oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so Mavis is played by Emily Davis. Um, got Jason, her landlord, played by Jay Dunn. We then have got um, Ronald, played by Raymond Anthony Thomas. Um, do, 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 do. There is Monique Mo, played by Gabby Beans. Um, do, do. Lyle, her brother, played by Miles Walker. Um, her mum in flashbacks is played by Quiana Watson, and the younger Monique in those flashbacks is played by Mopap Soconi. Uh, we've got Edward played by Cody Braverman. Um, Wendy played by Laura Heisler. Crystal, played by Stephanie Roth Habalil. There's a policewoman, played by Candice Adkins. A couple of crying um, women who we see, played by Anita Moreno and Joelle Woodson. Uh, yeah. I think that's basically it, right? Now, the gist of the film. When her oldest friend is plagued by horrific nightmares from the beyond, Monique is forced to travel to New York City on the first... Um, New York City. On the first night of the visit, Monique learns the dreams are contagious, and so is the Harbinger, the plague mask-wearing demon who not only feeds on its victim souls, but walks reality itself to remove any trace of their existence. So, uh, yeah. Sounds like <laughs> a happy film, right? <laughs> now, we open up and we see Mavis, right? And, and, and she's going through this bad nightmare experience, and it's all like, Arr. she needs help, right? We get a glimpse of the big bad, uh, not a full look, which is good, right? It, it's just that little teaser. Then we jump, and we've got Monique with a dad and a brother. It's a dad's birthday so they're celebrating trying to right and you know she gets a call which is Mavis which brings her to the thing and I, I think there's a there's a lot of good things in this film right I, I think 
there's a good use of tension. Um, you know, I think teasing the whole play Dr. Harbinger was good, right? Uh, trying that, you know what I mean? You don't want to give away too much too soon. So that's all good. And it's just that what's going on, right? It's just that crazy anticipation that, you know, that's handled very well. I think one thing, one big thing for me that's just this fucking pandemic, right? I don't enjoy things that are such a focus on the fucking pandemic. Right, it's just irritating. Now, Hank, a part of it because we we look, we know what it was, right? We know what it was, and we know what a lot of people did. But every time we see these things, everyone's got their masks on and they they're wearing masks indoors, and it's just this crazy over the topness. Which, yeah, some people did that. Not everyone. Right? It's a lot of people that were just like, all right, fine, I'll wear it if I have to go into public. I ain't wearing it in house. I'm not wearing it in my car. I'm not being crazy like that. But in these films and TV shows, that's how people are. Right? And it's just this, it, it, it's very peculiar. Right? It's very fucking peculiar. Like, what are you doing? Why are you trying to give uh, this weird sense of craziness, you know? Because it's not what it was. It's not what it was, right? And there's a bit where there's a kid who's got, I mean, we're given the impression he's got COVID, which is like kids didn't get it. Or if people did, it's because they had, an, you know, an immune system issue, right? But it's, that's like in the news, never mentioned, which is just like, Ey. so that was because it's so much of the film. It's not like, oh, they just, you know, it's such a big part of the film. It's mentioned all the time. You, you know, you can't go outside. We oh, are, you're protected, you know. And it's just like there's this one scene where there's this argument about her going, you know, to New York City, right? Because they're out in the middle of, they're out in the suburbs, I'm, I'm imagining, probably New Jersey, something like that. I don't think we know, but I'm imagining it's something like that, right? Um, and it's just like, I can't believe you're doing it. You're so selfish, blah, blah, blah. And then a bit later, it's just like, well, I knew you were going to go. Don't worry. I'll, I'll sort it out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And it's just like, wait, what the fuck was the first thing then? Right? It didn't make any sense in that regard. You know? And there's a few little bits in the film that don't necessarily completely make sense. Right? But, you know, there's some twists that are you know, not bad, not bad, though you do kind of feel, but you've been given the information, so how are you falling for this? But, you know what I mean, like, it, it, it definitely could happen, so it's not like you're just kind of a little bit like, come on, man, don't, what are you doing? The character, so it, it's not a bad plot device or anything like that it, it's just you know it's one of those ones where you're just like screaming at the screen going do not do that shit <laughs> what are you doing you know so there's these weird kind of things there's stuff that isn't fully explained right because we, we kind of get a gist of the situation between Mavis and money but not fully Right, and I kind of feel you need to know everything to be like, why would she go during this? Right, because you've made such a big deal about the pandemic. So 
what would bring someone out like that? You know? So there's definitely stuff to like about this film. It's a lot to like about this film, actually. You know, very good performances, you know? Definitely believe the the fear and anxiety that is going on, right? It's lit very well. So it, it helps with that tension, you feel me? That's all great. That's all great. It, it is just, you know, some of these kind of threads which don't necessarily completely make sense, you know? It, it, it's like the woman, you know, they're, they're speaking to, it's just somebody, because you think, surely, wait, wouldn't she give more? In, like, if she knows more, why is she ain't giving more? You know, and that's before the thing, right? But you just, like, give the information, you know? Like, there, there's this weird thing about why are the dreams contagious? Like, what's happening here? You know, and, and you kind of think there should have been more about, oh, people, these things are disappearing, when it's just like, you know, because... I think if this was set in the 80s or early 90s, you there's no way you could find out. Kind of find out. Right? There's, there's ways of finding out now. I mean, just go on the frigging social media and be like, oh, what, let's see what you posted. Right? Because that might give us something. But there's, yeah, there's just these little, like, plot bits that you just, like, I mean, it needs to be fleshed out a little bit more, you know what I mean, or, or a bit more context so we can fully, you know what I mean, get the, get the vibe of this thing, you know? So there is that. And then the ending is it's fun, but then when we get this other stuff, you are a little perplexed, right? Because it's like, what would be the degree of, you know? Because you're like, if pictures are there, then is it people in that vicinity? Right, would people further away, should they still know? Right, this is the thing we do not have anything on. So it's just like, ah, uh, they I think it doesn't fully hit like it could have. You know what I mean? Doesn't fully hit like it could have, which is a shame. Definitely a shame. But there is in there's, there's a lot here to appreciate and to like, you know what I mean? As I said, performances, the lighting, the cinematography, all of that, great. It's great. It's just some of these plot points, just some of these little pop points, people. But, right, it is out on Monday. You know, so if this sounds like it could be, you know, a jam for you, if you enjoy some of these kind of, like, I guess if you liked, uh, I think it was Synchronosia, right? We looked at towards the end of last year. If, if that, if you enjoyed that, I think that kind of plays a little bit like this. I mean, they're completely different films, but, you know, I think they play a little bit similar, right? So I think if you enjoyed that, then, yeah, this could be a jam for you. You feel me? So, yeah, there's a link, pre-order link in the episode information. So you can grab it on iTunes, but it's out on Monday on all your favorite VODs. So, um, yeah, there you go, people. The Harbinger.